Y'all ready? Oh yeah. Listen. All right. All oh, right, so good evening, good evening, good evening. Welcome to A Little Tea Time. I am Jarek, a.k.a. J-R-U-C, your favorite published author's favorite published author. Um, It is Tuesday in less than 24 hours until my 35th birthday. Um, I had an opportunity last night to go and hang out at Words of a Lattes, and I hit the stage and performed with them last night. Uh, if y'all were in the building last night for that show, uh, I had a great time. I felt good to be back on stage singing because I haven't been on stage singing in a good minute. And so to be back at Words of a Lattes, it was really great. Um, I enjoyed everybody who I saw yesterday. Shout out to Shana D Music. Shout out to Marcus. Um, Marcus Wayne, aka Brown Wolf, will be on the show tomorrow. Shout out to Sexy Ass Pearl. Shout out to everybody that was in the building last night who killed that stage. Um, I enjoyed everybody last night. So if y'all miss words of a lot takes with me there last night, you can still go and check it out every Monday night. Laugh out loud cafe. Um, I just I'm so grateful, just so grateful, so grateful um to share this birthday week with everybody who I got a chance to share it with. So everyone who's tuning in to the show tonight, thank y'all for tuning in to A Little Tea Time. Please like, comment, and share tonight's show. With that being said, I am going to get into shout outs to Perfect Peach from Bigelow. Bigelow Perfect Peach for the tea blend that is in my cup tonight. And I'm just excited to be here with y'all tonight. Really, 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 I'm excited to be here with y'all tonight. Um, Today's word of the day, are y'all ready for the word of the day? Today's word of the day is paraproxy. Paraproxics. Paraproxics is a noun from the English early 20th century, and it means a minor error in speech or action supposedly representing the fulfillment of an unconscious wish semicolon a Freudian slip I don't even know how to use that because it's just so so good for such a word like para Proxies. It's just a great word. Um, again, 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 just y'all try to incorporate paraproxics into your English language speaking vocabulary as I have with tonight's show. I'm so excited that um I get to share that word with y'all today because it's just such a great word to share. Um, now, on to Song of the Week. Song of the Week this week is a um a great song for me i love this artist i grew up in the 90s listening to this artist and this song changed my life after i lost my father 12 years ago um and tonight i want to celebrate this song on my show for song of the week i have to send shout outs to the late great Aaliyah with i care for you um I love this song, absolutely adored her voice, adored her talent, adored her gift, and um, just want to let it be known to the world and to the universe that this song changed my life at a time where I needed to hear this song. And so I want to encourage other people, listen to I Care For You. If you are having a moment, that is the song for you to get into tonight, tomorrow, and the rest of the week. 
So we are going to be celebrating Aaliyah, I Care For You, as Song of the Week for on a little tea time. All right? Cool. Um, Now, uh, y'all got to get over to SaucySonYourSpices.com and use my coupon code a little tea time one word and receive five percent off of your purchases also 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 check out chef saucy's by as cookbook available right now on the website at saucy um and today and tomorrow i literally gotta make the announcement because it's just out there for me um today and tomorrow is amazon day on amazon and so y'all get over there to Amazon and y'all shop because there are great deals going on right now on Amazon.com. And you can also check out Chef Saucy's Buy As Cookbook on the website at Amazon.com. And y'all can also check out all of my books that y'all use Dion Brain, which I'm going to get into later on in the show. Right? So now I got to continue to send shout outs to these music artists who are doing great things. Shout out to Willie Loke and Dizzy D with their single, Man Cry. Um, I'm such a fan of what they're doing right now. I know that they have been um, working hard to promote this song, so I am going to be promoting the single here on LLT Time. If y'all have not yet seen that video, you definitely want to go and catch that video and get into the vibes. Um, shout out to Sweet Nay with her single, Thick Thigh, always doing some great numbers. Um, I'm just such a fan of what she's doing also with this song because it is a great song for the summer. If y'all have not yet heard Thick Thigh, y'all want to get out there and go and check that out. All right? Cool. Um, shout out to Shana D Music. Last night, I had the opportunity to record her on my Insta- my Facebook Live, rather, not Instagram, on my Facebook Live, as she performed her song, Pack It Up. Um, I know that the music video has been doing some great, great, great numbers. So congratulations to Shana D Music with all of her success with Pack It Up, Pack It Up. So if y'all have not yet heard Pack It Up, y'all definitely get out there, get into the music, and just vibe. Definitely just vibe, right? Um, Also, 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 Above Ground from Ego Tripping and Official Patience. Definitely also doing some great numbers. And I know that Ego Trippin is definitely working on some things. I know that he also has a new single dropping this week. So I'm going to save that for later in the week when the single actually drops. Y'all will be the first to know about him on a little tea time, right? So y'all stay tuned. But in the meantime, y'all can check out Ricochet, which is one of his singles. You can also check out Never Promise Tomorrow and Fake Friends. Also, because those are all of his singles that have dropped already. And y'all can get into that music in the meantime while that new single is getting ready to drop. Right? Um, Definitely got to send shout outs to Miss Marche 318 with what she's doing right now with her single, Better Days, on Spotify. If y'all yet have not yet heard this single, I definitely want to encourage y'all to get out there. Get into the music right now on Spotify. Y'all can go and listen to it right now. It's M A R S H E A 318. So y'all get out there and check that out. All right. Now, I got to continue to send shout outs to Miss Nisa Murray with her single, Love Me Not. Also doing some great things. She's also featuring Black. Moonlight, Gabe, and Prince Kid on this track. And I know that she's definitely right now pushing, pushing, pushing her track as well. So let's continue to support her as she continues to push her music. And tomorrow, on a little tea time for my birthday, um, Mr. Marcus Wayne, a.k.a. Brown Wolf, is going to premiere his new single, I'm Hot here on a little tea time. So I know that it's going to be a great show tomorrow. So I want to encourage y'all to come and catch the show tomorrow with me and Brown Wolf as he premiered his new single, I'm Hot, here on a little tea time. So y'all stay tuned for that, right? Um, Also, 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 Mimsy MC just booked a spot on the Ratchet City Music 
fest that is coming to the city really soon. If you artists have not yet booked y'all spots for this particular show, you definitely want to go and get yourselves booked for this show. It is coming soon, coming quick, and coming fast. I've already been sharing information to my Facebook about this particular show to help encourage and push and prep others who have not yet booked their set for this show. So y'all don't want to miss that event. If you are a music singer, rapper, extraordinaire, you do not want to miss that event. All right? So go and get yourself booked. Get yourself booked. Got to continue to send shouts out to my bro, my friend, Mr. Jay Signs, with his new single, Dusty Guitar, that he just released. And I know that that song is a very high song. I've had a chance to listen to it myself while I've been out and about in the streets. And the song is definitely hitting. So y'all get into Mr. J, letter J, dot S A E N Z. And check out Dusty Guitar. All right? Don't miss it. Do not miss it. Do not miss it. Um, and finally, 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 shout outs to Wanky with her new single, Crunk. Um, she's also an, a great female rapper here from Shreveport, Louisiana, who has also been doing some great things with her music. And I just want to encourage you guys to also check out that music from her as well. From all of these other artists, you can also check out their music on Spotify, iTunes, Apple Music, Anywhere you are available to hear that music, do not hesitate to go and check in and tap in. All right? Cool. Now, I'm going to definitely continue to talk about what's going on over there at Handbasket Zine. Um, this is a call to our LGBTQIA plus writers. Um, they are still, still, still taking submissions for issue number 13, There's No Place Like Home. Describe your hometown or state and what memories you have from there in 400 to 700 words. And you can submit that to handbasketzine at gmail.com by July the 16th. That's by the end of the week. So do not forget to get those submissions in, you guys. Get them in. And this will be the final submission and the final issue of Handbasket Zine. So I do not want you guys to miss out on your opportunity to have your work published in Handbasket Zine. So all LGBTQIA writers do not miss your opportunity to have your work posted in this magazine. Right? Now, on to James Joffrey's self-acting workshop. Um, I know that he's definitely working diligent to get his class booked and July the 25th will be the start date for his class. So if you have not yet booked with Mr. James Joffrey for his acting workshop, do not hesitate to get in contact with him via Facebook or Instagram and get booked for that workshop. Tell him that Jerick sent you. Right? Now, I have to send shout outs to Miss Rachel Jackson Hill and Miss Ferrari Fox, who were honored at the 50 over 50 um gala this past sunday um again i'm just so proud of what these ladies have done because these ladies are from my community here in shreveport i personally know miss rachel jackson hill and i just want to continue to send congrats out to her and just continue to celebrate them on the show this week so congratulations ladies queen sisters who are doing the work for the community Y'all continue to put it down, right? Um, I know Miss Dorian Ford is on her way out to the summer empowerment trip. Um, I'm not sure if she's made it out there yet, but all in all, I know that she is said to be the guest speaker and leader at this particular event. So congrats to Miss Dorian Ford. Sis, continue to put it down for the culture like you are doing, and let's continue to make magic, right? Um, now I'm just going to scroll on because I got to get to these events for this week. Um, tonight, tonight actually happening right now. The film prize tune in party is happening at the stray cat 
Club in downtown Shreveport. If you are an actor or a director, filmmaker, you do not want to miss the film prize tune in party tonight. So get out there, go and check it out. Network with those artists and get in where you fit in. Tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow at 6 30 p.m., an introduction to Paganism 101 with Miss Brie Garcia is going to be going down at the Peace of Mind Center. And I want to promote what she's doing because she is a friend of mine. She's a supporter of mine. And I want to continue to promote what she's doing. So, y'all, if y'all have an opportunity to get out to the Peace of Mind Center at 6 30 tomorrow, go and show Brie some love, right? Now, also, also, also coming quickly and very rapidly, Kinky Boots, a new musical, is coming to Shreveport July the 14th through the 17th at the Marjorie, at the Marjorie Lion Playhouse at Centenary College. The tickets are already posted online. If you have not yet booked your tickets, you still have time to book your tickets for the show. So do not forget to get your tickets for Kinky Boots, a new musical happening this weekend. Um, July the 16th, the Isis Paper Book Club at the Colored Bookstore at 2007 Scenery Boulevard. It's also going down this weekend. If you are not familiar with this book club the way I am also not um, knowledgeable about it. I'm going to try my best to be in this event and be in attendance for this event because I would love to pick up that knowledge. So I'm going to encourage people to get out to the event as more information is available. You can definitely get out there and get into it. And you can also check out the events on Facebook. So just go to the events page on Facebook and you can also check it out there. Also, the Art Tipsy Fix Your Crown Paint is going down at Art Tipsy. You don't want to miss that also this weekend. So if y'all are not busy, go on down to Art Tipsy and get your paint on. Um, Saturday, July the 30th at 7 p.m. at Riverview Theater at 600 Clafet Parkway. You do not want to miss Yazzie Jams to the 90s featuring Jazz singer Stephanie Jordan. They are asking when you book your tickets to please come dressed in your 90s best for the event. Um, I already made that announcement that tomorrow Mr. Brown will, will be here on a little tea time. So if y'all do not want to miss tomorrow's show, come back and hang out with me tomorrow at 7 o'clock. Right? Now, on to my Facebook followers who are celebrating birthdays. Um, today, there were no uh, none of my followers celebrating birthdays today, but I do want to send shout out to my followers who have already celebrated birthdays. Happy birthday to Brandon, Sydney, Chris, Victoria, Calandra, Edwin, Miana, Mel, LeBron, and Taisha. Happy birthday to all of you guys, all of my fellow cancers who have been celebrating birthdays in the last few days. Um, y'all enjoy y'all's birthdays. I hope that y'all have been safe and been well and been loved. And now with that being said, I am ready to introduce to some and reintroduce to others Miss Jessica Ray. Um, she is a very talented, very talented lady who I've had the opportunity to meet. And I am looking forward to chatting with her more about what she's doing in the community and in the city of Shreveport. So I am going to send her the link to join in. And if she is ready, we're going to get into it. So, hey, Jessica Ray, it is now your time to come into a little tea time. So y'all hang tight. We're going to see if we can get her in. Okay, there it is. Add. 
And all right. And again, thank you to everybody tuning in tonight. Really. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. <laughs> Welcome to a little tea time. Thank you for having me. Yes. Thank you so much. <laughs> um, so you guys, I found out about Jessica just through Facebook. Um, I guess you've been watching a little tea time. Mm-hmm. And um, I reached out to you about doing the show, yes. and you accepted. So thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> thank you so much. Um, we're gonna just dive in because I know that you are a woman of many hats, <laughs> and I do not want to hold you up because your time is definitely money, and it's definitely okay. a <laughs> So, Miss Jessica Ray. Can you tell my viewers about yourself? Well, I am Jessica Ray. Um, I am the owner of a tax preparation and bookkeeping company. Um, also getting into, I do um, health insurance and life insurance, as well as um, my new venture will be truck dispatching. So that is what I do. I am the oldest of six <laughs> um, kids. And I am just a all around, um, they say I have just a mama spirit. I don't know. I enjoy being an auntie. So I don't know. That's it. <laughs> okay. So when you are not in the business of creating opportunities for your customers, what do you do for fun? Um, I love to travel. That is something that I thoroughly enjoy doing. Um, I like taking small trips like to Dallas or Monroe, Texarkana, small trips and even bigger trips, but I absolutely love to travel. Um, last, a couple years ago, I just got really big into just self-care, spending time alone with myself, my thoughts. So I absolutely love to travel. Um, I love singing. Um, I have wind down Fridays with my little dog and we turn on the music and do karaoke. Just me and my dog and we just sing and have a good time together. <laughs> yeah. I love that. I was just thinking before we got on um, before we started the show. So from one singer to another, we we can't control that. Right at all. <laughs> it's that's a daily thing for me. Yeah. Daily. <laughs> so Congratulations on all of the success that you're doing right now. Thank and congratulations you. on the new projects that are up and coming. Thank you. Yes. So the next question is, what inspired you to develop your idea to get into the insurance market? Okay. Well, I actually got into tax preparation before I got into um, insurance. Okay. So... I got into the tax preparation being honest over 10 years ago. Um, I was in college and honestly, I visited some other tax companies and I was like, they charge too much. I'm not getting no money back to pay these people. So with that, I was like, I'm gonna figure out how to do my own taxes. I think I can I think I can figure this out and save me a couple of coins because I'm a struggling college student. That's so right. That, was originally how I got into it. And once I got into that part, then my friends and some family was like, hey, do mine, do mine. And I was charging a little nothing. So I'm like, cool, yeah, I can do your taxes. And I thought I loved it. Like I would go into different classes and I would read up on like the different tax laws and it really began to intrigue me. And it was something that I just always did as a hobby, as a way to make extra income for years. That's really what it was. It was a way to just make extra income, you know, along with my nine to five, doing taxes and helping other people. Um, and in 2020, doing a fast, God gave me, I was like, okay, I'm going to step out on faith and I'm going to start my tax preparation business. And um, I actually had a friend kind of foreshadow this. God already had told her that I was going to be a business owner, but in my mind, I'm like, mm -mm, I don't think so. 
And when God gave me that vision, I was like, okay, but what am I going to do? I'm scared. And I was like, what's the name be? And um, first he gave me purposeful. And I was like, purposeful? What's, what's, what's that? So I sat with it for a while. I'm Googling, like, purposeful, what is this? And it all came together to purposeful preparation because my goal is not to just prepare your taxes, but to help you prepare life. Um, whether tax is just one portion of it, but in our community, we lack having health insurance, we lack having life insurance, which are necessities. And instead of just getting our tax refund back for those that get a refund and buying cars and furniture and just the usual things, also use that money to invest in yourself, invest into your business, invest into your life, your livelihood, and get that information. So that was purpose of preparation. So it's more than just tax preparation, but it's life preparation as well. Ooh. <laughs> you said a lot. <laughs> and I love it. Because that is definitely something that as a community we do not talk about that. We do not talk about health insurance. We do not talk about life insurance. We get those income taxes and go run on over to Walmart. Mm-hmm. <laughs> buy that big screen plasma. Right. <laughs> and don't even put insurance on the TV. Right. <laughs> so that is such an amazing thing that we have someone like you who put in that time, you put in that work, and you put in that energy, and you got that knowledge to come back and help the people of the community at a time where we desperately needed it during the pandemic right so i just want to take my hat out to you right now and give you your flowers and to say thank you because thank without you. you someone would be still lost thank you and you are giving them the opportunity to find their way so that is some fantastic news um the next question is how did you decide when to establish your brand and your company um like I said, it was in 2020. I I wrote it down, but um, I didn't do much with it. I kind of, I am a, my friends say I am organized, and I am a researcher. So I am going to research everything from the top to the bottom. I am not one of the people that can just dive in. <laughs> it's mm -hmm. anything unexpected. So I did a lot of research on what it took to start a tax preparation company, what the cost would be what I would need to be legitimate, um, and also making sure that I had the knowledge. Um, because one of the things along with tax preparation that I do is I thoroughly enjoy doing business taxes. So I love small businesses, um, helping business owners, doing the bookkeeping side of things like whatever you can't figure it out, bring it to me. I got it. I'm going to figure it out. I'm going to break it down for you and get it together. So that was the thing with me doing a lot of research. Um, I began to get more into tax seminars and doing the seminars. I took my AFTR. Um, I got my exit course and I started doing those that first before I decided to branch out and step out and say, okay, this is it. Honestly, I was just sitting in the bed one day and I was like, okay, it's time. Let me make this flyer and put it out there. <laughs> And it, it, it honestly was just a lump of faith to say that it's out there now. Like, it's out there. It's time to step out and do it. That's it. I love that. The next question is, how have your priorities changed since you started your business? Um, I wouldn't say they have changed much because I'm a person that always have believed in balance. So it is I still work a nine to five, so it takes a lot of balance because being a business owner is not a nine to five, it's 24 hours. Amen. And when you're dealing with people's money and their information and things like that, you want to stay on top of it. So it took me finding that balance between having my nine to five as well as navigating the tax business and making sure that I was giving my clients the best of me and my best efforts always. So it took, it took a lot of uh, balance, me prioritizing, honestly, me prioritizing my business over anything else because it was my first time with my business of this magnitude. 
So it took me putting that first and putting a lot of things on the back burner and people too, um, which was unfamiliar for some people around me because they're not used to that. But my business had to come first. Now, maybe <laughs> you said it. When it comes down to this business, <laughs> business is over everything. Yeah. <laughs> and you're in the business where you have gained trust mm -hmm. with people in your community. And right. you have to be very mindful of when you are dealing with people and their money and their information. Exactly. Ooh. Baby, I'll tell everybody, I can't go, I gotta go to work. <laughs> I can't yeah. do what I gotta go to work. Right. Tax preparation because, is a ministry. So, yes. Um, people don't let you into their, their money and what they do. So when they do, it's a blessing because that's what my ministry is in, is to help you navigate this. And it's very personal for them to say, okay, I'm going to trust you with this. I'm going to trust to put that out there. Most times you can't go up to somebody on the street and say, well, how much money you make for them? What you brought in, you can't do that. Like, mm -mm, get out of my business. So um, when someone comes to you and trusts you with that information, it's very delicate. And I appreciate the fact that for anyone that chooses me, um, that they trust me enough to bring that information to me and allow me to help them in this. That's it. So in so many words, God gave you a vision and a gift to give back to your community. Mm -hmm. And you took your gift and you not only nurtured it and got the experience for it, you made sure that when you got into it, that these people came to you in a space where they had to completely and utterly 100% trust you. Right. Mm, I can't even respond because that's it. That's all mm -hmm. of it. It's just a blessing though. I would I will just say that it is a blessing that as us is with our community with black people, it's it's hard for us to get in a groove and continue to keep the respect of your community right. as you are growing. Because again, it's hard for us to just trust anybody with our money. Right. And with our business. <laughs> right. Like we got we we got ancestors who were sending us now nah, put your money in that mattress. Right. Don't put True. it in that mattress. Put it in that mattress. You might need that cash. Mm -hmm. So you you definitely came from a same generation as me. I come from a family of eight. I have three brothers and four sisters. My mom and my aunt they're watching the show right now. And they can tell you when you start a business, it ain't easy. And to be in this industry now with what you're doing for over 10 years, you have given not only so much of yourself, but your community knows your value. Your community knows your guilt is making room for them. So you keep doing what you're doing, sis. Keep doing it. Um, the next question is, I had, um, what challenges did you overcome on your journey? Oh, <laughs> um, I had to get out of my own way. I still get in my way sometimes, um, but I had to get out of my own way. I had to trust that what God gave me, if he brought me to it, he was going to bring me through it. And it took a lot of me getting out of my own way, getting out of my head. Um, and just trusting that with what the gift God gave me would make room for you. Hey. Um, that was my, my biggest challenge. <laughs> I love it. I love it because something that small can be very big. Mm -hmm. And in that, in it, when we learn how to get out of our way, because now you speaking to me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I still did with that. Getting out of my own way myself. We all and, and and really trusting God. It ain't easy, but I would rather have God on my side. Mm -hmm. There are ten people who don't know him. That's it. <laughs> That's it. Cause with God in the mix, you can't it's say. Covenant. Yes. The covenant is sealed and protected. That's it. That's it. So, and not only that, you can't bring everybody in. 
Mm -hmm. But I definitely respect the fact of what you're saying, having to get out of your way. Because when we get out of our way, well, we can be in our way and, and we'll be on that one block for five years. Right. But when right. we get out of our way, <laughs> baby, God will send that slingshot 20 years into the future. That's it. <laughs> But we got to get out of our way and really let him have his way because I, I say this as a person that is a writer and a singer and, and doing all of these things that I'm doing. I'm I'm nothing more than a vessel. I'm nothing more than a vessel. And I would rather be a vessel that's just doing what God told me to do and not me doing what I want to do. So we have to be mindful that our gifts are not for us. Our gifts are for everyone attached to us. And we are in a position where doors can open. Doors can open when we move out our way. Mm. All right, we'll we'll be here tonight. <laughs> We will. We will. We'll and here. another thing with getting out your way is just trusting. If you if you tell God, if you gave him a yes, then trust the yes. If he if I've already told you yes, I'm going to be a vessel. And I say, God, use me. I just have to trust the yes. That's it. I can't trust the halfway, a medium way. I have to hold hard in it. I ain't lying. That's something that I learned two years ago. I learned that two years ago when I started Jari's Dion LLC, I was scared because I was so used to having a regular nine to five job. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I came to the conclusion that I prayed on. I was like, God, I want to start my business. I want my own. And I'm not going back. And when I said that and really believed it and really began to trust God. That's it. I didn't go for I didn't go without anything that I needed. He gonna bring you through. Years, and he is continuing to bring me through. So baby, you speak to someone who know it and who <laughs> believes it and who receives it. Yeah. <laughs> when you say, God, this is what I want, and you really truly fulfill what you are saying, God will open doors. And God will bring some people to you that you ain't even got to go to them. God will bring them to you. They see. Woo. Mm. How should I do this shit? <laughs> All right, because I'll be here. Uh, <laughs> the next question is, what strategies did you use first to market your business? Um, Social media. Social media and word of mouth were my biggest marketing strategies um i'll tell you this initially i had this big idea of doing a whole lot of everything and then i was like you know what no god just kills me no not yet not yet and god will take time to develop you in the dark and you take that opportunity to just let him do his work so it didn't take all of it it really was honestly Social media, word of mouth. The only other marketing I did was yard signs, which honestly didn't stay up that long in some places because I was learning. Um, but that that was my that was that was it. I would get in Facebook groups, I would drop information, tag gems, um, I would share posts about upcoming changes and things like that, the different tax laws and all that information. It, it was really Social media. Social media was the driving force for a lot of my marketing. And that grassrooting, that grassroots mm -hmm. is legit. Yeah. <laughs> it's legit, baby. Yeah. I, I was talking to a friend of mine today and she was saying that she's she getting back started with getting back to work and I told her to get out in the streets. Get out in the streets. Yeah, you just got home, but don't wait. Yeah. Get busy getting to work, get busy getting people on your side, get busy networking, get busy talking to folks. You don't know the doors that are going to open until you get to work. And as a person that's been doing even a little tea time, because I've been doing a little tea time for a little over a year, it required me getting out there and getting in them streets and talking to people right. and networking with people, not being afraid 
So being <laughs> rejected. That's it. That's my biggest thing too, because I'm very shy. So mm -hmm. I am not always a talker. Um, but it took me just putting it, putting that information out there. It 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 was a lot of social media. <laughs> I love You're it. talking to people. <laughs> yeah, because social media, social media does work that we don't even see. Right, it does. I I, I, I don't even know who's gonna watch this show. <laughs> and, and it trips me out because I was like, people been hitting me up just out of nowhere. I'm like, okay, right. y'all see in a little bit time. All right, right. I'm doing something right because now. Even for you to be here, Jessica, I didn't know that you was watching this show. <laughs> I don't know who's watching this show, so it amazes me. It amazes me when when I find that I got another person who's watching a little tea time. Yeah, and it, it blows my mind. So I'm like, okay, I'm doing something right. You are. You are. I'm doing something right, and I'm gonna share something personal with you. I'm not gonna get too personal, but I'm gonna share something. I'm in a space now where I know that. I'm under attack because I'm in the space where everything that I have done has got me into every room, has got me to the right people. And baby, there are some people who are upset, mm -hmm. but you can be upset because I did what God told me to do and not what my answer. And because I did what God told me to do, why worry? That's it. Why fret? Why be afraid? Why lose my peace? That's it. When I know I got somebody who already at the back, I ain't even got a swing. That's it. That's it. I'll Go share ahead. this with you, um, which I haven't publicly talked about, but I was attacked a couple months ago, literally for doing the right thing. It was a good deed gone wrong. And it went wrong, wrong. <laughs> and um, people who I didn't even know attacked my character. And it was very hurtful. Because I'm like, if y'all really know me, y'all will know this. You know, this wasn't my intention. I really had my heart was to do something good. But it went it went bad. And I, at first I was upset. I was crying. I was stressed. I was worried. And I had to get to the point that God was taking me somewhere. You wouldn't allow me to be attacked. You wouldn't allow me to go through this if it wasn't a bigger blessing on the side of me. This is to teach me a lesson. Then I went to church this Sunday and my pastor preached a sermon that says, the devil will attack you just to see you a reminder of God's protection and God's provision. So it wasn't even meant to hurt you. It just came as a reminder to let you know God still is protecting you. God still is giving you provision. And you just got to continue to trust him in the midst of this storm. So when I was spreading the word about what people were saying, God said, I'm developing you for something greater. Those same people are going to eventually come back and not even realize you're the same person that they were talking about. You're the same person who cares for their attack. But when they meet you in another setting, they're praising you. But I have to trust God's provision. I have to trust his protection. And he protected me throughout the whole situation. So trust God. It's just a reminder. It's just a reminder. Yes. That's it. That's it. I'm going to get into the next question because I, I, I was about to shout, baby. I was about <laughs> to shout. I'm over here holding myself. The next question is, how do you, Miss Jessica Ray, define success? Mm. I don't measure success by money and things. It's honestly just the way I feel. I feel successful now. I know that I'm operating in what God has told me to do. And I know it took a long time to get to this space. So for me, this is success. That I know what God has given me. I'm operating in it. And I know that he is further providing for me and showing me more than he wants to do. And as long as I continue to give God my yes, I'm going to be successful. And that's that's it. it. Ooh. I love it. Because we do get caught up in the material things. Again, going back to what I was just saying, people see stuff. Mm -hmm. 
they see stuff and they they categorize that oh he got money right oh, he, got this. <laughs> he got that hey but those are just pictures on the wall mm-hmm. those are pictures of my i have a um a hall of fame in my apartment it, it's the magazine covers that i've been on um my book covers from my actual books things that i've been doing just working as an artist and those things are not that they're not clothes it's not shoes these are things that i've been doing as a working artist that i i put them up on my wall because i i i I heard this from tyler perry tyler perry said with every success try and frame your success try and hang your success up on your wall where you can wake up every day and you can see that success on your wall and it gives me energy every single day to keep fighting for my business, to keep fighting for my brand. And we have to consistently fight for our brand. It's not about the stuff, y'all, because I promise y'all. You know. I, 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 I told my mom this one time. I said, Mom, I have so much stuff. I don't even know what to do with it. I was giving stuff away and stuff was still coming in. <laughs> I was like. Right. <laughs> Stuff don't make people happy. Money don't make people happy. It It does not keep you. What keeps me at night is the fact that I go to sleep and I know that I did a job well done because God said that was a job well done for today. Those are the things that keep me as I move forward. Those are the things that sustain me. My mom watching this show, every time I do a show, that's success for me. Mm Mm-hmm because she supports what I do. Right. <laughs> and it, it, if stuff was the thing that sustained us on this planet, baby people would have a lot of peace in their life with stuff. Right. So I, I totally respect what you're saying. It's not about stuff, because you can have everything. You have everything and be lost. You can. Every physical thing. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. Even hearing what you said, it reminded me of when I first started singing. I was nine years old when I first started singing and my first solo in church. Well, not my first solo, but one of the first songs that I sung in church was Silver and Gold. That song that song stands true even today. Mm-hmm. I would rather have the master mm-hmm. than anything mm-hmm. on this planet. It, it's not about a dollar because a dollar don't make you. It and if, if it make you, oh, it'll break you. It'll break you, yep. <laughs> you better ask somebody. Yeah. Um, the final question, what's the best advice you can give to someone thinking about starting a business or pursuing their dreams? The best advice, number one, make sure that you align with God's purpose for your life. Before you step out, before you decide to do anything, consult the master and make sure that what you're doing is what he is guiding you to. And mm. it's okay because we'll make mistakes. I have called myself having several businesses <laughs> before this, but it wasn't what God's desire for me was. It wasn't where he wanted to use me at. So make sure that you have talked to God and you are aligned with your purpose. The next thing is make sure that your business is properly structured. Uh, we miss out, business owners miss out on a lot of funding. They miss out on a lot of um, tax cuts because they are not properly structured and they are not handling their business and their business accounts in the correct way. So make sure that when you do decide to step out and start your business, you properly structure your business. I don't care if you bring in home $10 a month or $10,000 a month. Structure your business correctly from the beginning. And it will you will thank yourself in the long run. That's it. That's it. That's <laughs> it. That's it. I love that. I love it. That was one thing that I had to do. When I started, <laughs> everything, everything that I'm doing now was because I first prayed I prayed on it. True story. 
before I started Jar UC on LLC. I, I had literally came home. I was out of town when the pandemic started. And I came home after being gone for two and a half months. And I was like, I'm not going back to work. <laughs> what am I going to do? Mm-hmm. And I prayed. I said, God, I don't know what's about to happen, but I'm going to step out on faith. I'm going to pursue my book business full time. I'm going to pursue me being a working artist full time. And no matter what I got to go through, even today, no matter what I go through, I'm going to follow my heart. I'm going to follow my dream. And if you get me to the next door, God, I'm going to keep moving. Literally, I prayed that and I started moving. From 2020 to today, 2022 to today, every door that I've been through, every situation I've been in as a working artist was because I solely trusted God. I solely trusted God. And I followed my gut, I followed my instinct, and I trusted myself. I trusted myself. And as people, Again, with what you just said, too, making sure it is decent and in order. If you don't know, YouTube University is there. <laughs> Go get you a couple of books and read up. Mm-hmm. If it's a field that you are working in that someone else is working in and you're trying to go higher, go talk to them people. It don't hurt. Go up and buy them dinner. Right. I encourage business owners to have a mentor. When I started, I sought out a mentor, someone that had been in the game, seen the highs, the lows, and could properly assist me in stepping out on faith. And you have a lot of people who want to withhold information, unfortunately, but like when you pray and ask God, he's going to lead you to the right person. And the person that became my mentor poured so much information into me. She took up time with me. She guided me, and she helped me to know, like, you're going to be good. You you got it. And she introduced me to so many stuff. And she's a young black female herself, so it just did my heart good to know that it was somebody that was so willing to support and to another entrepreneur to make sure that they're on the right track. So I encourage any business owners, definitely reach out. Find you a mentor. Pray about it. God's going to bring the right person to your path. And research because trying to dive into it head first, you can make so many, you're gonna still make mistakes, but you can make so many mistakes by having somebody that's been there and they'll probably make the same mistakes that can help guide you as well. That's it, that's it. And mentorship is so important. Mentor is so important, even with what I'm doing now. I didn't realize there are people who are paying attention to what I'm doing. I got to send a shout out to my baby brother. My baby brother, he started his own show. Okay. <laughs> and let me know I was doing something right because he started right. his own show. So shout outs to Chad. I don't know if you're watching right now, little bro, but I'm so proud of you. So proud of you because you started your own show. And when I saw his first show, I, I, I almost cried. That's beautiful. Because that, that showed me my mentorship got him to that place where he said, I'm going to do my own show. Yeah. <laughs> Not even thinking that I was a mentor to him. Right. I'm both his brother. But now I get to see, no, I'm also his mentor. He did his own thing. And I'm you never everybody. know who's watching. You never know. You never know who's watching. Yes. Like, I'm going to my mom's house because I got to go in and just push him down or something. <laughs> <laughs> the show, like, I'm so proud of him because he, he doing his thing, and I'm like, okay, that lets me know I'm still on track. Even while I'm under attack. Let's see. I'm Even still... while you're under attack. Ooh, that's just a reminder. Ooh, that sounds good. Even while I'm under attack, I'm still on Let's track. See. I like that. Ooh, like all right, that. that's a word. That's a word. <laughs> But we're going to dive into candy or corn. It's the okay. game of the show. Um, I'll ask you if you eat these candies. 
You can say candy if you eat these candies or corn if you would not. Okay. <laughs> so the first candy is Gobstopper. Mm-mm, corn. <laughs> mm -mm. Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> oh, love it. The next candy is 100 grand. Mm-mm. Nope. Love that. Candy corn. Nope. <laughs> corn. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, the next candy is Rolo. Candy. I like Rolo. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, Heath bar. Corn. Mike and Ike's. Candy. Mounds. Corn. Skittles. Candy. Twix. Candy. They used to be my favorite candy. <laughs> Still is. Still is. I love it. I absolutely love them. And the final candy is gummy bears. Candy, I just don't eat that a lot. <laughs> but I wouldn't for gummy bears. Okay. Um, that's candy or corn. Thank you so much for playing. No problem. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> now is the time for you to plug your business. Uh, let people know if you have any events that you're going to be doing, how they can follow you, and how can they contact you? Well, you can follow me. I do have a business page, Purposeful Preparation Tax Service. Um, also, a website, www.purposefulprepteckservice.com. We can be reached at 318-621-7144. Um, I am actually working on starting my, I guess I can refer to it as my second annual vision board party in December. Um, so be on the lookout for that. I will be having, I will start posting that probably around September, October. Um, I will start posting that, but I will be having a vision board party again this year. And, um, yeah, and I'm located at 4123 Greenwood Road, Cooper, Louisiana, 71109. <laughs> so yeah. stop by and see me. If you just have questions, if you need to go over your tax return, you want to talk about business funding, um, how to properly structure your business, definitely give me a call. You can set up an appointment, stop by and see me. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So definitely put me down for the vision board party. Sure will. I got one that I'm looking directly at, and I got one that sits into my my left off the camera. And I'm, I'm such a fan of vision boards because it's you writing down the vision and making it plain. That's it. And I got a particular um a particular vision that I put on my vision board: eagles soar, not chickens. Mm -hmm. And I live by. Um, um, the difference in my vision board party is I, one of the things that I um, learned about vision, visions take goals. So you can have the vision board, you can have a vision to say, in 2022, I'm going to buy a house. But before you make the vision to buy a house, what goals have you put in place? Have you been saving? Have you been planning? Have you worked on your credit? So let's put things in place so that we can accomplish that vision to get there. So not only we can have the vision about a house, we can have the vision of a green car, but what are we going to do to put in place to make that vision come to life? And I have speakers that come and speak on um, different topics. Last year I had a credit specialist, I had a banker, um, I had an entrepreneur talk about entrepreneurship. So um, what are we going to put in place to make those visions a reality? And Look. the first step is proper goal setting. Love that. I absolutely love it. You keep me posted on that vision board party. Mm -hmm. I will come on here on a little tea time and I'm coming. Okay. I can't get I'm enough of vision board. boards, baby. They I love <laughs> me a good vision board. Yes. <laughs> love me a good vision board. Those give me energy. That give me energy. Mm -hmm. And another thing I will say, things on my vision board, they come to pass. Mm -hmm. And you have to believe it like if you are not a big believer of manifestation, 
whatever you put on that vision board, it will come to pass. But in it, you also have to put in work for it to come to pass. Miss Ray, thank you so much for coming out tonight. Thank you for having me. Um, you're so welcome, sis. You have a home here on the Little Tea Time. Anytime you want to come through, talk about some things you got going on, keep me posted, let me know. And we will definitely work to get you back in. Um, I enjoyed you today. I love your energy. I enjoyed you. Thank you so much. I enjoyed Thank you so much. Um, you are definitely doing the work of the community, and you are definitely for the people of our community. And let's continue to do that. You guys, if y'all know Jessica Ray out there, y'all support um, what she's doing. She's looking out for the people of, her, of our community. And it is important that we continue to support our own so thank you. thank you for coming through tonight. I hope you enjoy the rest of your evening. I'm about to go and see my mom and, and, and throw some dirt on my little brother. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and spend time with them a little bit. And um, thank you because you're here with me for my first show this week of my birthday week. So thank, thank you. Thank you for having me. I really enjoyed myself. Yes, thank you so much. I enjoyed you. Um, until then, and take care, enjoy your night, and be well. You too. Thank you. No problem at all, sis. Thank you. All right, guys. Um, if you want to stick around, stick around. I'm just about to shut down the show here. So, you guys, get over to SaucySonyaSpices.com. Use my coupon code, a little tea time one word, and receive 5% off of your purchases. When you shop at SaucySonyaSpices.com, and be sure to check, check out Chef Saucy Sonia's Fire Ass Cookbook available right now, right now on the website. So do not miss that. Also, 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 y'all can also check out my books available right now at 421 Lake Street at Agora Morales. You can go by there and check out the Jari's Dion brand. My books, The Coming Full Circle series, my first book of poetry. The Confessions of a Conceited Drama King, and my second book of poetry, Catching Up With Me, are all available at that location. You can also head over to Amazon.com for their sale that they're doing right now for Amazon Day, which is tonight and tomorrow. And you can check out the books as well over there at Amazon.com. All of the books are available. Just type search Jarius Dion, that's J-R-A-Y-I-S, Dion, D E Y O N D, and check out the Coming Full Circle series, The Confessions of a Conceited Drama King, Catching Up with Me, and my new book of poetry, which was available May the 1st. Quarantine Quest are all available now. So do not hesitate to check those out. Thank you to everyone, everyone, everyone who supports the book business, to everyone who supports Coming Full Circle the revised edition and all of my books over at amazon.com to everyone who supports what i do here at a little tea time thank y'all so much really because it means a lot to me that my community supports what i do y'all watch the shows y'all talk about the shows to people in the streets who recognize me from the show thank you so much for just all that y'all do because that lets me know that even today i am doing something right so y'all, thank y'all so much for all of your support and your love and your dedication to a little tea time. Really, thank you. Um, always, 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 always am such, um, such a humble person and a grateful person for every person who has come through to do a little tea time. So thank y'all so much for that. You can also go and check me out on TikTok at the Jarius Dion. Subscribe to my YouTube channel at Jarek A King Among Men Thomas. I've already uploaded some of the other shows. If y'all missed those shows, you can check them out right now on YouTube. They will also be coming to Spotify very soon. So y'all stay tuned. But in the meantime, you can check out those shows on Spotify at A Little Tea Time. Just type search again. The Jarius Dion. That's J-R-A-Y-I-S Dion D-E-Y-O-N D right now as I say at every single show remember you matter oh 
Sorry, I just messed it up. Opportunities knocking. You matter. Let's build and go higher, Shreveport. And as I say after every single show, remember to be great on purpose and not by accident. The future is now. I am your host, Jarek, a.k.a. Jarius D., your favorite published authors, favorite published author, and your host of A Little Tea Time. Until my show tomorrow for my birthday with Mr. Brown Wolf, y'all have a great night. Continue to stay safe out there in the streets. Love you guys. Later. Welcome to the Y'all ready? Welcome to the Oh yeah. Good night, Mom. I love you too. I'll see you in a minute.